All right, good morning. We are at the first location of the morning. We're going to be doing some user generated style content. We're going to take care of it's all handheld pretty much with the cell phone. But what I like to do, I like to use the gimbal mainly because I'm going to get a lot smoother shots. Sometimes if you're handheld, sometimes you'll get some shakiness. And me personally, there's plenty of times where if I don't have the gimbal, my hands are a little too shaky for the clips. So we're gonna start out with some interior shots, then we're gonna go around, we're gonna do some exterior, knock out this, hopefully we'll get it done in about an hour and we'll be all set. Let's get to it. So today we're going to be doing phone content, so we're going to be using the phone for today. And this should be fairly straightforward. The, the phone content is actually, personally, I prefer using the actual camera, but for this particular location today, we're going to be doing some user-generated style content. So it's content that's based in and around, you know, how it would look if you were living there. So that's the whole general idea of why they do these style. So this is gonna be with the phone and I'm gonna be using the DJI RS2 to keep things really steady. So let's get to it, let's knock this one out. All right, so we are at this location and we're gonna be using the DJI RS2 mainly because this thing is so steady. Even for stuff like this, even for user generated content, I find that handheld is awesome, but when it comes down to a very smooth clip where I know they're going to have no issues with cuts and all of that stuff, this is a really, really solid option. That's why I'm choosing the RS2. So let's get our settings right on the camera and let's get to it. the gimbal is pretty important even like I said even for user generated content when you're using a phone it doesn't really matter you still want to have your gimbal balanced this way when you're actually doing your panning moves and everything like that you're not interfering or the gimbal's not interfering with your workflow the idea is to get in and out of the clients way get the get the shot list done get everything done as quickly as possible but as efficiently as possible so our next shot is walking in and out of the home we did that we hung the back So what we did was we just improvised, basically. All right, so the next one is living room shots. We're going to be reading a book, which we have a book right here. So let's get our cam set up this way. So we have a nice shot of the couch. And this will be a fun one. I'll be able to sit down, I'll pick up the book, I'll fluff the pillows first, and sit nicely with the book.
that is it. That is the end of the shoot. And we are headed back to the house. So two for two, yesterday was drone shots, today was user generated content with a cell phone, and I did some BTS with my Canon camera, just to capture how I'm getting these shots. You know, one thing I will say about this industry is you have to, you have to be able to be, you have to be able to pivot, you have to be able to move in such a way that you know, don't be afraid to do things better than they asked you to do it. And that's what I mean by pivot. Meaning go above and beyond the client. Because when you do that, they will see it when you send them the files and they will say, wow, this person did extra more than what we asked for. So there's two benefits to that. The first benefit obviously is you'll be the first one they call when they have another job or you know freelance work lined up in your area this company that i just did this work for i've done about 12 projects for them and it's because i am persistent when it comes down to getting the job done the right way the first time i'm flexible meaning i give them a couple of dates they give me a couple of dates and we bounce between the two and we find one that works and I am punctual. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna get right on my sales calls, and I'm also going to immediately be sending these files to Dropbox so they can have these files today. Between those aspects, I really believe it is building a solid connection. And also, one other thing that I have done that I'm gonna be doing like mad for the next week, because we have the last three months of the year and I have things planned for content for businesses for the next three months. I'm gonna be doing a ton of outbound, ton of door knocking. Don't be afraid to knock on doors with your camera in your hand. This way it shows like, hey, I'm not just saying I can do it. I've got this camera rig right in my hand and if you're ready to go, we can get started immediately. Obviously, immediately is not the best choice. I would say within a day, this way you can get them out of contract, an invoice, and a signed contract at that. I've, I've spoken about this earlier in this year, how I made that mistake on my very first video project. It was a very nice, high paying job, and I didn't get anything but the deposit because I didn't have a contract to protect me. Yes, I made the mistake. No, I will not make it again. <laughs> so that's it. Let me focus on the road, and I will see you guys back at the home office later on this afternoon. See you soon.